Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video about a children's trading card game. Oh look, it's worst ruler time, and as you can see uh, from the title and thumbnail, this is literally the only deck you can play under Night Bandit. Uh, you know, maybe we'll finally get a better one in set 5, um, because this thing sucks. Uh, although I do wish I had that character ruler for Night, because it looks really clean, I like the, uh, the, uh, the dual border. Anyway, besides the point, um, this is a deck that honestly, uh, I haven't really tried out very much, but it, from what I have, it's... Seem pretty fun. Um, it's uh, Genesis Summon, and I think there's a lot of potential here. I think, though, this is uh, the, the, the list is gonna like. I love I love the versatility. Um, it's also something you're gonna have to absolutely like, basically specifically design for your local meta because that's like the only way to do it. But it's a super like good deck. Uh, I think once you actually have. So um, we'll do this actually um, in, a, in, a in a specific order. So we'll start with the targets, and I'll sort of go through them. So. Um, first one is obviously the new Magvarius card is absolutely insane. Um, the new the uh, Ray Gargora, uh, Sakya Hime, Gashadokuro, Albavolt, Flera, uh, Aras, and Gold uh, Gladirion. So um, a lot to talk about here. Um, the first thing being, I don't know why Gladirion's in here because that shouldn't be. <laughs> Um, ignore the Gladirion. What was going on there? Sorry, I have a different legend. I, I think I forgot to take it out because I put in a separate legend. Um, anyway, okay, let's talk about these. So, um, why am I playing each of these? Um, it's So, uh, on these two, we can summarize those fairly easily. So, uh, both of these are double attackers, which gives you very good clearing power. The benefits uh, from here are that Ray Gargara will clear, manage to clear through a, a gear up, and then you can save it. Swing with Ruler, and if they go into another gear up, you can almost certainly clear that as well. Uh, it's also very good clearing power. It's going to be 10, 10 attack, so it's definitely clearing over anything. Aras is stopping you from taking effect damage, which is obviously very powerful. Um, there's a lot less of that running around, but if anyone is still playing Lucifer, they are going to get cocked out by this. Um, you're not really playing any warriors to take advantage of... Uh, well, certainly I'm not to take advantage of this effect. You could, though. Um, and I think both of these are nice. Um, definitely this is one of the worst draws in your deck, but there are, there are ways around it. Uh, this one's uh, a bit better because you're obviously you're going to be getting that uh, that uh, charge shield on it. Um, then we can talk about uh, these two. So here we've got pairings that uh, basically deal with um, gear up, um, but you have sort of some sort of versatility there in how you want to play it. So um, obviously this is going to heal you. Um, this is something that you can make with uh, more of your summoners. Um, what's different summoners? The way I play it right so there's different summoners to summon out different things so you need to play different options uh so this is going to heal you and it's breakthrough whereas this is just going to straight pop um it's a much nicer draw like this is the one you want to draw this is the one you want to keep in deck um and when because when you draw this you discount it play it for two you get double charges and it's popping this card is insanely strong being mega slapped on i think um whereas Apple Vault, you know this day breakthrough super valuable this format thanks to gear up hits over literally everything including uh, actually, the only thing this doesn't hit over is my. That's like it. Uh, everything else this hits over, uh, like Scoob, all that stuff. So that's why both of these are getting played. Uh, then, Sakahime is still amazing. This is a draw two, just a little bit of advantage gaining. Um, uh, I only, you only need one flare up because uh, it doesn't matter where it ends up, as you'll see with my uh, summoners, that you can get it back into deck. Uh, and it, uh, it pops something on entry and it draws you a card if you have to play it from hand. Um, and then we have got uh, the mag because obviously, you know, big nukes. Um, so that's the options on the uh, Genesis summoners. So I, I think there's like a really nice suite of options there. Let's talk about the. Uh, let's go down then in, um, in Scala. So uh, then I've got uh, four. Uh, I've got. Four copies of Okuni, which maybe is surprising. I I'm quite a big fan of this card. So the thing is, right, um, this is, uh, you're, you're playing a bunch of mages, right? So in, in the situation where uh, you don't have your level zero to just search something, this is a nice one to go into because you can heal out any le your level threes from your damage um, and uh, potentially, uh, actually, I don't think, can you hit a counter? Yes, yeah, so you can't hit a counter, but um, you can get things out of your damage, which like obviously matters. Um, and this is uh, going to let you go into your uh, supernatural stuff, um, which basically does restrict it um, to really just Hellbreaker. Um, but you can also go into like a separate mage if you wanted to, though uh, you probably wouldn't, but it's an option. And you've got some level zeros to make that happen if you want to go into um, the next card, which we'll talk about. Uh, but mainly this is here to get things out of damage and, and act as like a target to just pull out a deck and um, you know potentially genesis into something else. Um, we got 
uh, Kinemiya, uh, sorry, Komei Kiyaki. So I'm a big fan of this card. So this is, um, I, I like the DR ability on this. The DR ability on this is basically gonna, when your opponent hits a counter, you say no, and you're gonna take the same amount of damage for DR3, which is really good. And it's part of the reason I run an event, which you'll see. The other one is that this is, lets you Genesis summon straight out of deck by banishing cards. Um, and that's obviously really good, so you can just like fucking grab anything from here and do some shenanigans, which is why, like this fetching it is quite nice. Um, so this is technically a target. Um, and you can like put some stuff back with uh, with this uh, as long as they're mages. So you know, if you, like if you've got some dead, like I mean, like you know, if, if you've got mages, you probably aren't. But like sometimes it comes up, um, and uh, that, it's nice to have in those situations. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this card. You you could go three three. You could go three three. Um, and honestly, you could play Huli instead. Huli might be better. Um, I don't have enough copies of Huli though to do that um, because they're in a different deck. Uh, then I'm playing. Four copies of Tsukikage because uh, it's a gear up available to this deck. Um, you could play y Yomao, but I do think that um, that double attack is quite nice on this. Um, the problem is it's going to be fairly late game, so maybe Yomao is better. Um, either way, whichever one you go for, uh, this or Yomao, I had more Tsukikage, so that's honestly the big reason I went for Tsukikage. Um, where Yomao maybe is a little better um, in this deck. Uh, probably is. Uh, whatever you do, it's an upgrade because... 3 attack is such an L, and being able to be 4 is a massive, massive W. Um, so, play 4 copies of uh, one of those level 2 gear ups, for sure. Uh, then, apologies for the proxy here, um, I'm aware, like, it's because they have the same effect. Um, this card's amazing! Um, Sparrow's on this for free, if your opponent gears up into anything, this clears literally all the gear ups. Against Alice, this is like their absolute bane. Um, yeah, this card's super good, super underrated, you need more of these. Um, as you can see, I'm running low on them, so I need to pick up some more, but this card is like sick. Um, super underrated. Then onto level ones, four Paula, two Cat Sith and Boots. Um, this is a pitch target off of Paula, um, and uh, that, that that's a, a big reason. But um, Paula is obviously like letting you filter. Um, you don't actually need as many targets um, because of an event which we'll come to. Um, so you can just use this to filter your hand, um, which is obviously quite nice. Uh, and then uh, triple uh, Utrego because putting your targets back is kind of really good. Um, uh, and with the level 2, you also have like plenty of other ways from getting them. But you want to get those out of damage, so you never want to put it uh, with the level 2, because you never want to do that from your drop zone, because then you're just taking damage for no reason. On to the events. Um, so I play one copy of this. Um, this is one of the uh, best cards that Genesis Summon got, because now if you have a hand full of level 3s, you can just slam this down, and it's no biggie, right? Like, there you go. You get to play them out of your hand, um, and you and you refill your hand as well. So, um, yeah, this card's super good. Um, highly recommended. <laughs> like, I, I think this is, like, one of the most auto-includes in this deck. Uh, then, Force Sky Strike. Another big reason to play this deck. This deck can actually, like, is playing Volnar, so you actually get to max out your copies on Sky Strike. But this card counters a lot of decks in the format, um, giving this uh, deck, like, much better matchups. Um, yeah, super good card. Uh, then, I play two copies of Sanctifying Steps. The reason I play this is because there are decks that really do need their DR. Um, and if you know, like, so a, a lot of decks will need uh, attributed DR, so you can use this to specifically disrupt that. Um, but also, you sometimes, like, with your Kinemiya, uh, sorry, with your Kogaki, um, you want to use a lot of your own DR to make your opponent's counters do less, um, like, which is particularly important when your opponent hits, like, a really strong counter, so you can save it for that. So getting your DR back with this is obviously really good in those situations as well. Um, I think this is an underrated card as well. Uh, then we got Triple Call for Adventure. Um, this is the card I was talking about. Uh, as long as you have a Genesis Summoner on the board, this will just fetch your deck for like anything. Um, so you can literally just go grab whatever you need. Um, which is, you know, so basically this plus um, either of your summoners, uh, either uh, Paula or uh, Okuni, will make, uh, will allow you to make one of your targets, um, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, cards, cards super nice. Uh, and obviously, as a counter as well, you can get some of your targets back into the deck. Uh, and finally, uh, we got three Kami Scorn and three Wall of Shields. Um, these are both really, really nice. Um, notice that uh, they are synergizing quite well with uh, this boy, who counts uh, magic or incantations. So these are both magic, so these are really nice to have. Um, this is just to give you some longevity. If you are playing Knight, 11 HP is a sad case. Uh, and this is just a good card for keeping your stuff alive. Um, so there we go, that's the deck profile. Um, I think Genesis is like that deck where I don't think anyone's really going to agree on builds. Um, so I really am legitimately curious to see uh, what you guys are doing with yours. So like, let me know, comment section. Uh, or join my Discord server and we can talk about it there. Um, but honestly, yeah, uh, I, I think this deck is super cool, super fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to developing this further and uh, making it better. 
Uh, so please do subscribe to see updates as and when that happens. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.